Hey Pfingsters, it's Chris, founder of Pfingster.com, and in today's video I'm going to show you the Python callable function. And um, Python, so Python has many built-in functions, like um, one of them is the callable function. You see it's automatically highlighted in this purple or any other color in your editor. And the callable function takes one argument, which is an, uh, like any object, you can put in any object here, and it returns true if you can call the object argument like a function, um, like with a trailing parenthesis in, in, uh, in, in the object. So for example, if you have, um, say, an object 42, and now this object refers to an integer number in memory, and now we can pass um, x into the callable function and maybe print the result immediately to see whether it is callable. It returns one, uh, a true or a false value. So let's execute this. And now the return value here is false. Why? Because because um, the integer number 42 is not callable. So you cannot call an integer number like this, right? So you cannot call 42 like a function, yeah? So th you see int object is not callable. Um, so what is callable then? For example, the callable function itself, this is callable. So if you if you type in callable here, so callable checks for itself whether it is callable. You, now you see the result is true. And you can also pass like the print function that is also obviously callable. The resu result is true as well. So what if, so how can you create your own or ch create your own or check for for like custom object, not built-in objects, whether they are callable or not. Let's create a function. Just call it um, like Fingster, and it returns something like 42, for example. And now you can simply pass the fun function Fingster. So Fingster is a name in the namespace that you have just created by by defining the function here. And now we simply pass Fingster into the callable function and uh, print the output. And let's see whether Fingster is callable. Yes, it is. Okay, so things is a callable um, um, object because you can call it like this. So, for example, if you, if you now call it, the return value will be an integer. So now let's pass this integer into the callable function. Check. No, the integer is not callable, right? Because you cannot call an integer. We already had this. But how can you? So what does it? And like under the hood, how does it work? Uh, basically, the the method checks whether there is an um, whether an instance has implemented the underscore underscore call method. So this is a method of an object. So maybe let's have a practical example. And um, it checks whether 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 this object, like for example, you can create a class car and then you can override the call function. And as you may know, every method must imp must take one argument at least, which is the self argument. So the so the uh, it's the reference to the object itself on which you call it. And now say this this function does anything like it prints brum or so yeah. So it prints anything, and now we create a car like a Porsche. Porsche is now a car, so we create a car instance. And now you can we can check is it callable. So how would how would we do this? Yeah, probably you have already figured it out by by now. So you you use a callable function and you pass in the Porsche instance. Now we now we check the Porsche instance whether, whether we can call it. So let's check. So if if we can call it true, then we can actually try to call it. So what ha what happens if we call Porsche now? Say Porsche like this. So we can actually call the instance Porsche. And this makes this instance kind of a function, right? Because because now if you would just create a Porsche instance here based on the class without without overwriting this uh, call method or basically defining this call method in the in the class definition, uh, you could not call it, right? You cannot call any, inst uh, any instance. But this by implementing the callable um, interface or via this call method, uh, you can basically make any object callable and, and then really call any object. And if you call this function, the return value will be, or basically not the return value, but the side effect of the function will be broom. So it will simply print something to the shell. Okay, so this is how you can make any object callable. Uh, it's very exciting, actually. I found it I found it really interesting when I learned about this feature the first time. Um, yeah, because it really dives into the into the basic implementation stuff in Python, and it also shows like showcases the purpose of this call instance. And you can really take any object and make it callable and allow people to to call your object. Yeah, and this is really I mean this is really very 
um, a very interesting feature for many uh, practical projects. And my, like the first few years in my Python education, I didn't know about this future and only learned uh, about it um, a certain time ago. And uh, since then, I actually used it a lot of times. So this is like very interesting feature. If you want to become a better coder and learn more about uh, um, p different Python functions and different Python tricks, then check out our um, email academy and free cheat sheets. I give a link in the description below. And yeah, thanks for listening to this video and see you in the next video. Bye.